Hello, welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor and I have a FDM versus SLA 3D printing comparison. FDM printed with 0.2 mm nozzle. And, um, but this time from the quality aspect. If you are not new on this channel, you know that I already did similar comparisons, but uh, I compared only from mechanical strength aspect. And I got several comments that the resin is too rigid, it's mostly for printing miniatures and figures. Well, let's try them. Uh, by the way, not uh, every resin is rigid. If you follow this link, you can find all videos related to these topics. But uh, that's not the subject of this video. Okay, so uh, I still don't have the SLA CD printer, so I'm using CD printing services. Uh, SLA parts are printed on Illigo Mars with 0.05 mm layer height. FDM parts are printed on uh, Enders 3 V2, but with a MicroSwiss Direct Drive Extruder. And uh, actually the idea came when I tested different uh, diameter nozzles from the MicroSwiss and I was presently surprised how good quality is the 0.2mm nozzle printing. And actually uh, if you have a direct drive extruder, uh, you are using good quality filament and you are using some uh, CR touch or other auto bed leveling sensor because the bed leveling is very important for this small diameter nozzle. It's easier for printing. The temperature will be enough, the cooling will be enough, you need less attraction, the oozing will be smaller, the overcrank came out better and similar. Here you can see the content of this video. Um, I will show you a few basic things like how to replace the nozzle. So let's start with that. First I remove the silicone sock and then I like to press the filament before I pull it out. And then I clean the nozzle with the breast brush. And I use the open end branch on a heat block and unscrew the 0.4 mm nozzle. Don't forget it is hot, so put place it on something that's not flammable. And then the safe method would be way to cool down, but I gently uh, start tightening in the new nozzle and then uh, tighten it finally with the, these two wrenches. Placing the silicon sock back. I can insert the filament and it's ready for printing. Let's talk about printing times. So here we have those eight objects from my tests and these are times. SLA1 is uh, printing on Illigo Mars with 0.05 mm layer and just for reference uh, these are printing times if it would be printed on Illigo Mars 3 Ultra 4K. And these are printing times on 0.2 mm nozzle and these are on 0.4 mm nozzle just for reference. Now, uh, if we calculate the total times here, uh, on a graph we can see that uh, SLA is not really fast process, but one important thing I have to mention, and that is that SLA printing times are calculated if printed uh, one by one. But if printing all objects at once, uh, total time is almost as printing as the tallest objects, so uh, I think the more accurate picture would be if I change these two numbers if objects are printed all at once uh, in that case uh, these are the printing times because don't forget with the fdm every additional objects will increase the printing time i started with the baby yoda and uh, as you can see i used the supports only below its hands i didn't use the supports on ears or any other place and they came out good this is quite a bit overhang and uh, later I will analyze this under the microscope, but uh, you will see it would be better if I used uh, supports on maybe two more places. It was easy to remove it from the object and even the supports are a little bit easier to remove compared to the 0.4 mm nozzle. The next one is the calibration cube, but size of 10 mm. And the next one was the 10 mm hemisphere. And it came out really nice, this uh, half ball shape. The next one uh, was printing surfaces from 5 to 45 degree angle with step of 5 uh, degrees. And the next one is the badge with some very small letters size of 4 millimeters. And then I printed a uh, gear of modulus 0 0.5. And this is half size benchy. And this is 15% size benchy, the smallest object I printed. These three benches are here just for size comparison. And now let's analyze the objects. 
Okay, so let's start with 50% Benchy. This one is printed with 0.2mm nozzle and 0.1mm layer height. This one is from the resin printed with 0.05mm layer height. Just for comparison, this one is printed with, with a regular 0.4mm nozzle. Okay, let's analyze these benches. You can see the overhang came out better on the resin. The big difference we can see on the top with these horizontal lines because uh, they depend of the layer height. Here a little bit better is the resin version. The chimney came out good in both versions. Now uh, this edge on the bench on the boat, I think it came out better on FDM printer. Uh, this hole came out good on both. And interesting, the resin lost the logo from the bottom. And this is the back side of the boats. And the smallest thing which I printed with 0.2mm nozzle is this 15% Benchy. <laughs> Try this with 0.4mm nozzle. I think I have to analyze this better under the microscope. But definitely it is recognizable. And this is the footage from the digital microscope and yes here I can see a significant differences so the resin is much cleaner and I can see a lot of micro stringings on the FDM printer. The chimney was matted during the printing and uh, also the hole is uh, partly closed so definitely yes the SLA is much nicer in this case. The next is the XYZ calibration cube. Well, to be honest, for the first look, uh, the Z looks much sharper on the FDM printing versus this on resin. The X axis and the Y axis. Maybe because of the color, but definitely much sharper. I can see these letters on the FDM printing. There is a quite big elephant foot on the resin cube. And under the microscope I can see that the top layer looks much nicer with the resin printer. This is the X side, I can see the elephant foot and I can see those layers but they are visible under the microscope only. And this is the Y side, I can see here again that bigger elephant foot and I can see more ghosting there on the left side. Now after 10 mm calibration cube, these are 10 mm hemispheres. Well, uh, the resin version has a quite noticeable elephant foot, so it lost that nice uh, shape of the hemisphere on the bottom. Until here uh, it's much better. Uh, I can see some small string at the end. But to be honest, uh, from these two I like better the FDM part. And I use these parts uh, very often to create some kind of sphere, so this is printed with FDM printing. And I can have very nice spheres, so this is printed with FDM printing. The next object is uh, this with surfaces from 5 up to 45 degree angle with a step of 5 degrees. And well, I think this will be more visible, the difference under the microscope, so let's take a look at that. Under the microscope only near horizontal surfaces looks uh, better on SLA printer, the rest are quite equal. Now the most useful thing I printed with 0.2mm nozzle is this gear with a modulus of 0.5. With 0.4mm nozzle I couldn't go lower below uh, one modulus. And actually these type of gears are very common in those toys, RC cars. And I always need one which I don't have in my collection, but now I can print any of them. And if you are not familiar with gears, so they can be used together if they have the same modulus. And you can see this one with injection molding works perfectly with FDM printing. Well here I have some problem because there is some elephant at the bottom. But if I raise it a little bit then yes it works together with the resin gear too. But definitely that elephant foot is a problem with this printing. And of course the filament and the resin gears can work together but only I have to lift a little bit higher the green version to be above that elephant foot of the SLA printing. So 
small badge. So you here you can see this is approximately a little bit bigger than an inch. These lines are 10 millimeters distance. And uh, I tested here how small letters can be on some kind of badge or maybe a business card. And uh, uh, both came out uh, quite good. Yes, the printing surface is a little bit better on the resin. Uh, but somehow the letters looks much sharper on the FDM printing. And latest objects in this comparison is the Baby Yoda. On FDM printing I use the supports only below the hands, so even the ears uh, or the head was printed without supports and I can see that uh, somewhere it actually needed uh, supports for example here and here on the back side but as I mentioned with 0.2 millimeter nozzle even the overhangs came out better compared to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle because the cooling is better and it came out quite good but yes definitely I can see that the resin is the winner in this case but let's analyze them under the microscope too and here we can see really uh, more stringing on the FDM printer and on hands and under the ears I didn't use the support this is the back side and again I can see some spot where I should use the supports on uh, FDM printer but I didn't the arm details came out better on the SLA printer so definitely the SLA is the winner in uh, this case And now the conclusions, well, first of all it looks like I need some kind of a macro lens, uh, but for that I need at least 10 months Patreon donations. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, uh, I'm very thankful to all Patreon, buy me a coffee or PayPal donations. And thanks to these people I decided not to run ads during the video. About these printings, uh, uh, yes SLA is better except uh, on some uh, geometric shapes like this hemisphere or maybe I had some problems with this small gear but basically it's because of that uh, elephant foot I don't know with SLA printing is there something like a raft or uh, something similar of course we don't have that smooth surface in that case but uh, that may solve the problem otherwise yes I have to admit the SLA printing is uh, better quality compared to the 0.2 millimeter nozzle FDM printing and now you can shoot me with those comments that this was so obvious and this was stupid idea for the video. Uh, but I was curious, you know, and I have to try. Uh, basically, you know, with bare eyes, when I first uh, printed with the 0.2mm nozzle, the difference was not so obvious. So that's why I want to analyze this a little bit better. And actually the biggest difference here I can see only under a microscope, but with some objects it's not so easy to notice the difference. Ah yes, one important thing, there is something what you cannot do with the SLA printer. Two color printing. I have these business cards, they are printed with the 0.4 mm nozzle. Uh, the background is uh, two layer thickness and then uh, changing the color and the letters are with uh, one layer thickness. And I, for this video I printed this. This is with the 0.2 mm nozzle so I can have much smaller resolution on the letters. And this is really, really nice. So uh, the background is uh, 0.3 mm in total thickness and uh, 0.2 mm are the letters. And uh, yes, like a small business card. So really nice and something that cannot be done with the resin printing. And maybe it will be too brittle and it will break. So this is like a paper, but it's PLA. And now I can finish the video. Thank you for watching and happy printing.